to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through six easy steps to clean and detail your engine bay. The things we're gonna to need to detail the engine bay are super simple, and chances are you already have a lot of them either in your garage or your detail arsenal already. What's awesome about engine bays is say you have brushes that you used to use on paint work and wheels, maybe interiors. When they get a little too dirty and grungy for those services, you can retire them strictly for engine bay details. A lot of these parts are plastic and they're not gonna get scratched if your brush isn't in pristine condition. The first thing we're gonna need is a garden hose with just your average garden sprayer on it. We're not gonna use a pressure washer for this job because there's tons of little electrical fittings in engine bays and that high pressure water could knock them loose. They are typically water tight, but if they do get knocked loose, they could fail in the future, causing them to short out and we don't want that. The next thing you'll need is your cleaner. Today we're gonna to be using All Purpose Cleaner by 3D. This truck's only about a year and a half old, so there isn't a huge buildup of grease in the engine. If you need to use a degreaser, go ahead. The process is gonna be the exact same, but for this specific application, the All Purpose Cleaner will do great. Now typically, we would have our All Purpose Cleaner in your classic spray bottle with a trigger, and that's absolutely fine if that's what you have, but today we're gonna to try something a little bit different and take the All Purpose Cleaner and put it in the IK Foam 1.5. This is gonna create foam out of the APC and I'm hoping what it'll do is dwell on all the surfaces longer, allowing us to agitate it in and get better results. These are the four brushes that we're gonna use. They're all from Chemical Guys and they're all great for engine bay detailing. This first one is super soft. I think it's typically a wheel brush, but what we're gonna use it for is around the sides where there's the painted areas and then on the inside of the bottom of the hood because that's also painted. So these soft bristles will work perfect on that. This is gonna be your boar's hair brush. This is what I'm personally gonna to use to agitate the product into 95% of the engine bay. Right here, your classic wheel brush, good for getting the wheel barrels. In this case, we're gonna be able to reach down into the engine parts where it's tighter and this isn't gonna be able to touch, so this will be perfect for that. This is the brush we're gonna to use to work in that protective coating or the dressing. There's tons of finicky tubes and different tabs in the engine bay, so we'll put the product on the bristles and then work it into those tight little areas, mop it up with a microfiber towel, and hopefully get a perfect even finish. For drying, I'm gonna be using compressed air. There's so many tiny little areas in engine maze where your typical air blower kind of struggles. This super pressurized air knocks it out of there super quick, making the job faster. For protection, we're gonna be using Carpo Pearl diluted three to one on all the plastic trim areas. And then on the painted areas, we're gonna be using Bead Maker by P and S. The next couple things we're gonna need before we get started are a couple microfiber towels. These are gonna be for mopping up bigger areas of water and then leveling out the coating or dressing that you're using. And lastly, a couple nitro gloves. Engine bays are gross, keep your hands clean, and that's it. We'll take one last look at this dirty engine bay before we get started because step number one is gonna to be to rinse. But before we do that, I just wanna vacuum these leaves out of the top here and then vacuum this battery cover for some reason, the battery in this truck is wearing a jacket and I don't really wanna get that soaked, so I'm gonna hit it with the vacuum real quick and then we'll move on to rinsing the engine with water. first is to get all that surface dust and surface dirt off of all the plastics and engine pieces. You don't want to apply cleaner on top of that and just work that dirt into the surface. If you can eliminate it beforehand, that's awesome. So now, step number two, we're going to apply our cleaner. You may have yours in a spray bottle, that's perfectly fine. I have it in this IK sprayer. So what I'm going to do is foam up my APC, start on the top of the hood because you always work from top down no matter what you're doing, brush that in, rinse it off, and then we'll move on to the engine department. If you haven't already put your gloves on, now's a good time. The first brush we're going to be using is the Chemical Guys wheel brush, and we're going to start working this product into the bottom of the hood. Once the product 
is thoroughly worked in, you can move on to step number four, which is gonna be to rinse it away. After the bottom of the hood is thoroughly rinsed, we're gonna move on to the actual engine compartment and repeat steps two through four. So apply the product, agitate it in, and then rinse it away, and then we'll move on to our drying and protection steps. This is where the boar's hair brush and the wheel brush are really gonna come in handy. In these tight little areas, this brush isn't gonna do it, but this wheel brush for wheel wells can get in there perfectly, and I can be confident that all that debris is gonna be gone. and you don't see any white soap suds anywhere, you can move on to step number five, which is gonna be the drying process. For this, I'm gonna use a microfiber towel to hit all the bigger sections, the flat areas that have water on them. And then I'm gonna use compressed air to hit any tight areas, knock the water out of that, mop up with a microfiber towel, and we can move on to protection. <laughs> decently dry, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be using a water-based product, we can move on to step number six, which is going to be protection. Now I'm using Carpro Pearl diluted three to one. A lot of people really like to use the spray dressings for this application because there's so many tight little areas, it's hard to get your hand in. So in the description I am going to link a couple of those as well as all the other products if you guys want to check those out. But today I'm going to be using Carpro Pearl on this brush, we're gonna work it into all the areas and then we're gonna take our clean microfiber towel, level it out, and hopefully we'll have the perfect finish. Have our protective coating applied to all the necessary surfaces, all the plastics, black tubes, some of the frame, everything that we want protected and to maintain that sharp black look. So we're going to take a clean microfiber towel, level it all out and see what we're left with. PNS bead maker and apply it to these painted areas on the side and then on the bottom of the hood just for that added protection so you know you're safe. Just like that, the engine bay is cleaned and detailed. All the dirt and grime is gone, all the surfaces are protected, and we might have even added a few extra horsepower in the process. You may see some water up here on the fascia under the windshield. I just left that because we are gonna wash the vehicle afterwards. It's always a good idea to detail the engine first because all the stuff inside of it could end up on the paintwork and you don't wanna have to deal with that after you just wash the vehicle. So engine bay first and then do the rest of the car. Thank you. 
People bring up tons of different concerns when detailing engine bays. There's batteries, exposed intake filters, alternators, electrical wiring, a million different things that water shouldn't get on, right? Well, the truth is, on vehicles 15 years old and newer, this style of engine bay detail is gonna be completely fine. Obviously, if you have modified engine components that shouldn't get wet, you put them there and you should know that that's your responsibility. On vehicles older, most of the time, you just have to do your research and figure out what's gonna work for your specific engine. It's so different engine to engine, it would be literally impossible to make a video giving you all the do's and don'ts of engine bay detailing and what can and cannot get water on. So I hope that helps a little. Even on new vehicles like this, we are extremely cautious to use as little water as possible. But if you are concerned, just hop on Google. There's a million forums out there for basically every make and model of every car ever. So I'm sure there's gonna be other people that have asked the same questions. Can or cannot water go on this part of my engine? If it can't, you can throw a bag over it, take it out, whatever it may be, I'm sure you can find a solution so you can deep clean your engine and get it looking perfect. Other than that, links to all the products we use will be in the description below. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be on Friday. Peace out.